I work hard to earn my pay And I saved real big today At All-American Ford Hey everyone, I'm Jason Smina, the marketing director for the All-American Auto Group. This is the All-American Auto Mall and Old Bridge Updates podcast. This is episode number 47. Uh, as I always do, I'm going to do a, a video portion of this, so I'm going to share my screen for anybody who is watching on YouTube or Facebook to follow along. Last week's episode 46, I gave my reaction to our very first two-door Bronco. Uh, it is it was a manual transmission, cyber orange color. It is a mannequin vehicle, which for anybody that doesn't know, that means Ford basically sends uh, us this mannequin Bronco where we can't sell it for six months. There's different rules about it, how much mileage you put on it, all that stuff uh, before selling it. So basically we can't sell it no matter what, have to keep it here for test drives. Um, and the Cyber Orange two door manual transmission one was the first one we got. Um, we also got in just this week. So I, I talked about that on last episode, my reaction to it. Uh, I tried to drive it, which um, I tell a funny story because I actually can't drive uh stick shift so um i tried it um but basically i sat in it while our general sales manager joe petty drove it because he could drive stick uh so i gave my reaction to how i felt about the inside or the interior i should say which is incredible um how it felt how it drove um all that stuff so that's episode 46 from last week this episode we uh got in our four door uh, automatic Bronco. So um, I got to test drive that on the lot and then I actually took it home last night. Uh, and I'm also taking it to an event tonight. So uh, I'm, this episode is going to be dedicated to giving my reaction and talking about the four door uh, full size Bronco that we got in, which I absolutely love. Um, so this is episode 47 and it's going to be my reaction to the four door Bronco. So let's get started. Um, you can see a full set of the photos for it. Um, on our social media pages. Also, I just wanted to make clear too, this four-door Bronco that we got in, it is a mannequin vehicle as well. So again, can't sell it. It's just for test drives. Um, and this one in particular is actually for our Point Pleasant location. So it's in Old Bridge for a couple of days. Like I said, I have a Old Bridge Chamber of Commerce event tonight that I'm taking it to, uh, but then it's gonna go down to Point Pleasant and uh, probably stay there for the duration of the mannequin period, which is about six months right now, unless anything changes from Ford. In Old Bridge, we are expected to get a four-door automatic transmission for a mannequin and for test drives. We also uh, expect to get in our, start to get in some of our sold units. Um, so some of the uh, Broncos that people had ordered uh, over a year ago at this point. And then eventually we'll start to get in stock units that we could sell. Um, you know, we have so many sold orders that still need to come in. Obviously, we haven't even gotten one in yet. So um, that's got to come first before the stock units. Uh, we would think, we would hope. And uh, we still have no timeline on a lot of this stuff. I know it's frustrating for some customers. Uh, I know a lot of customers have started to call us and ask, you know, when theirs is coming in. Again, it's a Ford Motor Company thing. It's a production thing. It's very hard to give an ETA on some of this stuff. So uh, we do our best. I know Ford Motor Company, um, with some of the folks, they sent out uh, estimated dates or dates of arrival. So uh, some customers have that, that they look at, and then they call us about. Um, but realistically, as soon as we get in your sold unit, you know, we're calling you right away to get it. There's, there's no reason why we'd want to hold one on our lot. Um, you know, from a, a sold order from a customer. So um, that's the story with the Broncos and the ordering and what we could expect over the next couple of weeks. But um, let's dive into this four door one. So uh, like I said, it's uh, automatic transmission. It's the outer banks trim level, um, which means it comes with 18 inch high gloss black painted aluminum wheels. Uh, it's got the signature LED headlamps and taillights, the body color fender flares, power coated tube steps. Um, the interior is absolutely amazing on this. Uh, for anybody watching on Facebook and YouTube, um, I'm flipping through our Instagram post uh, with the pictures of it, and uh, the interior is just fantastic. So it, uh, this one has the optional and available leather trim seats in a roast color um, along the sides, almost like a trim, and then uh, black in the middle. So really, really sleek looking leather. Um, and then it's got that roast color. Uh, which I guess is like a dark beige, I guess you could say. Um, that is all over the interior too. The dashboard looks incredible. Um, I was blown away by this interior. I really was. 
I know I've talked about it before on this podcast. They did a great job with the interior of the Bronco Sport. Um, I talked about it on the last episode with the two-door Bronco. I love that interior. This one with the upgraded leather um, and, and extra uh, accents of that roast color really brings it all together. Uh, just a great looking interior. I love it. And uh, obviously, I love the exterior. I think Ford did a really good job about it. And listen, I've said before, I'm biased. I'm not going to come on here and, and tell you that uh, something looks terrible. If I don't like it, I probably just won't say that I like it. Um, so I'm not lying, but I fully admit that I'm biased. Um, but I love this Bronco. I do. I think they did a great job with it. Um, like I said, I took it home last night. So this one has the um, a soft cover, which is basically what all the Broncos will have because Ford Motor Company has um, trouble right now with producing the hard top covers. So um, most of them will come with the soft top, if not all of them. And uh, this one is a, a soft cover convertible. So basically it's real easy to, I was shocked. Basically you just unlatch two latches um, towards the front of the vehicle uh, on the roof and then uh, you just fold it back. And basically it goes into position one, it's called. Um, and you could strap it down. So that's what I did. And uh, I posted some pictures of it as well in, in the Instagram and Facebook story uh, as well. So that gets it basically towards halfway to the back seat um, of that convertible top. And then position two is taking it a step further and kind of lowering it fully um, so that the entire top is um, folded down the soft cover. So um, again, we have pictures of it and uh, that's what I did when I drove home, um, you know, and then it's very easy. You just kind of fold the soft top back up and do the two latches and it's done. So um, I did it on my way home last night and then I put the cover on at night and then this morning I took it off. And then this morning uh, when I got to the dealership, I put it back on. So again, very, very easy um, to work this soft cover. I was very impressed by it, uh, how intuitive it is, how easy it is to use and uh, just how it looks, it's great. And driving with it, uh, you know, I've driven Mustang convertibles and stuff before, obviously, but uh, this felt really cool. And I've driven in Jeeps before too, with the top off and uh, obviously again, a little biased, but uh, those don't drive as smooth and that's a common complaint. So it's not like I'm going out on a limb there, but uh, this one, this Bronco, I think Ford did a great job. I think it is going to be the Jeep killer, which is out there on social media. It's not my phrase, but other people's phrases. Um, I think it's going to dominate the Jeep market, to be honest with you. Um, it's not going to be right away. Obviously, Ford had its problems with production and, and the pandemic and everything. But I think you'll see over the next couple of years, I think it will dominate this class uh, that it's in with this off-road um, SUV, two-door and four-door. And really, the ride was extremely smooth. Um, like I said, I, I put the top down. Uh, it was a cool convertible feel to it. I put the windows down. Um, the amount of attention that I got driving home, and I live very close to the dealership, so it was a short ride. Uh, at every traffic light, people were looking over. A couple of people, you know, tried to uh, talk while we were at the traffic light. They were asking what it was, if this was the new one, if this was the full size one. Um, you know, we've talked about it before the difference between the Bronco Sport and the full size ones, as I call them. Um, they're not actually called the full size ones, it's more two door or four door. But uh, a lot of people asking about it at traffic lights, a lot of people looking at it, uh, just driving down my neighborhood. There was a couple of people, you know, out on the front lawn and you could just tell that they're looking at it. They were interested in it. They were excited about it. Um, like I said, I'm bringing it to an event tonight. So I expect it to get a lot of attention. The posts so far on social media that me and my marketing team have done, um, everything's been very positive reaction wise to it. And all of the posts are getting a ton of interest and engagement. So um, the, the cult following behind the Bronco and the interest in this brand new Bronco, it's real and it's pretty intense. I, I haven't seen anything like it. I have to say, um, you know, the mach -E was what it was. Uh, the, the Mustang name has a cult following for sure. Um, and there was differing views on if the all electric mach -E should have been called the Mustang mach -E. um, you know, when the redesigned F-150 came out this year or, or, last year uh this model year uh there was a lot of excitement around that when the f-150 lightning got announced there was a lot of excitement around that a lot of reservations a lot of um uh, attention from that and then even the ford maverick i talked about on a couple of the last podcast episodes 
uh, we were actually shocked with how many orders we got for that. So a lot of people excited about that and ordering that. That's that uh, the brand new subcompact pickup truck that's going to be hybrid. Uh, so it's the Maverick hybrid. Um, so all of those new models, a lot of new, interesting, cool stuff coming out with Ford. None of those other ones even compare to the level of excitement with this Bronco. And it's been a long time coming, right? It, they, they paused the, uh, the brand name for a while there. And then uh, when they announced it, everything took a while, as it always does with all these manufacturers. And then obviously, you know, they tried to launch it during uh, one of the worst production times in our country where, uh, you know, the plants were shut down for a while. Now we can't get semiconductor chips into any of these vehicles. So um, it's been a bumpy and long road for sure and for a whole bunch of different reasons. But it's finally here and the excitement level is uh, it's definitely there. So uh it's great to see a um, lot of people reaching out on social media asking, you know, if they could come in and test drive and stuff, you know, if, if they could take it home for the night. And we are offering overnight test drives. Um, but again, I really recommend you call first because, like I said, these we're taking these out to events. Um, you know, people are booking them for test drives. And then this four door one is going down to our Point Pleasant location. So always please, you know, when it comes to anything here, I always recommend calling first, confirming rather than making the trip down and then not having what you want to see here. Um, and then we usually have to hear about it later on social media. So always, always, always recommends um, calling first, booking an appointment if you have to, just confirming that um, the vehicle that you want to hear, that you want to see is uh, in fact going to be here. And then um, the last thing I want to talk about, uh, that was my reaction to the four door Bronco that I took. Um, I'll be posting, uh, hopefully I'll be posting some pictures from the event tonight. Uh, it's an old bridge chamber of commerce event, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, but this morning when I brought the Bronco in, um, I seized an opportunity that we had with the two door, um, our cyber orange two door Bronco uh, right out in front. So I had a nice little photo shoot with the two Broncos in front of our building. So that's all on social media. Um, it's really cool to see them next to each other because you could see the true difference in the trim levels where um, our two-door cyber orange Bronco is lifted up a little bit higher, um, you know, bigger wheels for off-roading based on that trim level. And, um, you know, like I said, the bigger wheels, higher ground clearance um, made for more off-roading. You could really tell that it sits higher up than our four-door. So the four-door, um, just as a reminder, is the Outer Banks trim and the two-door is the Badlands. So that's why you get the difference in, you know, the wheel package and kind of the look of it. So um, pretty cool to see two of them next to each other. We haven't had that um, yet. It's been a long time coming, like I said. Hopefully we start to get in a lot more of them and um, we'll kind of go from there. But today um, will probably be the first time in Old Bridge that we'll have both of them here for the majority of the day. Again, pending somebody booking them for a test drive um, or potentially an overnight test drive with the Cyber Orange one tonight. So. Um, if you want to see both of them, call first, then come check out both of them. They should both be here for most of the day. Then I'm taking the blue one um, tonight to the event. Cyber Orange one, uh, the two-door um, manual transmission one, that will be here um, most likely, you know, each day for the next six months, barring a, a scheduling of the overnight test drive. So that's the story with our Broncos. That's the episode for today. Um, I appreciate everybody listening. Please comment um, on Facebook. Send me an email, jason at aafordnj.com. With any feedback, questions, comments, always love to hear it. Um, and I really appreciate it. Everybody have a fantastic Friday, and uh, I'll be back next week. Well, everyone